Welcome to my happy place. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm probably gonna look like this for all of this vlog. Forgot a tripod again. So note to self, leave a tripod at the beach house. It's 11 a.m. I've been up since six. We did a 40 minute workout, which I'm so happy that that's done. Mike and I went to a farmer's market. We went to the food store, bought a ton of stuff for the barbecue that we're gonna have later. I'm sorry that I look like this and I don't really think I'm gonna look fabulous. It's gonna be hot this weekend and I'm just, I'm chilling, chilling like a villain. I'm trying to get the home nice and less filthy for when family comes. Light a candle so it doesn't smell like hot sweat, AKA me. I need to do something with my hair because whoa, she looks insane. And I really want this candle to be done. So candle, be done because Mike and I bought a ton and I wanna try. I wanna light a new one and get a new scent in here. A new summer signature scent. I apologize for the terrible angle. I don't know if you noticed the tank top that I was just wearing, the gray one right here, but I bought this on Amazon last year. And then this year I was like, you know what? I just need like basic clothes that I can throw on. I don't really care if I sweat in them. So I went back on Amazon. This tank top that I was just wearing is a full size tank top, but they also come with like cropped tank tops, but this is like the best crop because it's not like super cropped. It's not tucked, but it looks like it's tucked. Do you get what I'm saying? Are we on the same wavelength? I will link them down below, the cropped ones. This is a beige. And then I also got long ones, chocolate brown. So nice, you know I love chocolate brown. Another white, which you guys have seen, it's literally the same tank top, just in white. I already own a white, but I bought a white to leave down here so that I can have a white tank top at home and a white tank top at the beach house. And then I don't have a black, and I thought that a black was necessary. And the black is cropped. I really like these cropped ones. Sage green in a crop as well. So we have a sage green, a black, a white. Ooh, I think the white I got in the regular size. I hate all the plastic. No, another cropped. Good thing I love the cropped and then a full length brown. My hair looks crazy. Um, I don't know what she's doing. She is still a moon ring and she changes colors every day. I kind of want to go a little bit more red. Holy shit. Whoa. place around the corner started making a coconut cold brew. Oh my God, it is divine. Look at this little setup. I wanna show you the setup. Oh, I think I need a coaster though, because I don't wanna put my coffee on Mike's table. So I'll put it on this little mini table. Here's our little setup, our wicker chairs, the coconut iced coffee I was just raving and ranting about. It's very good. Beautiful table that Mike's brother made for him for his birthday. Another wicker chair and we have the fireplace. I'm really hoping we're gonna use tonight. It's the vibe. And then we have the little lights up top. And I'm very excited to hang here, hopefully all day today and for a bit tomorrow. Wow, that's a good cup of coffee. Hello. Oh, what is she doing? Is she going to Jose Gary's and I forget the other person's birthday. If you're interested in what's on my eyes, I'm using my Shiseido Benefiance Wrinkle Resist 24 Pure Retinol Express Smoothing Eye Mask. That is a long name. It is June 30th when I am filming this. July is just around the corner. Actually, I honestly don't even know. Are there 30 days in June or 31 days in June? Like, is tomorrow July? Yeah, tomorrow is July. June was like a good month, but also it wasn't a great month. I felt like it was hectic and I let the hecticness and also my emotions kind of rule a lot of my life. The last week I've been a bit better, but I really just want to do a reset here with you guys. I want to reset my mindset, my mood for July. I wanted to take the day to just pamper myself and get myself organized, feeling good, fresh and ready for July. This morning I woke up, I had my collagen coffee. I'm on my second cup of coffee. I journaled. I read a chapter of my book. I'm still reading Husbands, but I'm finishing it today. Kind of just like dragging. Got me in a really good headspace. We talked about it. I've honestly been reading this book for like two months 
just because I really haven't taken the time to carve out of my day. I'm hoping that July is a bit different. I'm hoping that I take the time to do things that make me happy, that I'm checking off more items on my happiness to-do list, and I just need a day of me. Yesterday I got my hair done, which I will show you my hair. I went a bit darker and a bit more red, like I'm a little bit of like an auburn brown. My appointment was at 12 and I did not get done until almost 4.30. I just need to sit, I need to be, I need to be in quietness. Yesterday I was sitting in that chair and let me tell you something, Sitting in front of a mirror for four hours is unwell. I just don't think that we should be subjected to such a thing, especially under like fluorescent lighting. I was looking in the mirror. I was a little saggy. I was a little pale. And my eye wrinkles, my God. I love my hair girl. Her face is just smooth. She gets Botox. She gets her lips done. Like, and, and it's right. Like, it's like she goes to someone good because she looks very natural. Looking in the mirror at her next to me, I was looking a little haggard, okay? And I'm not, and I'm not putting myself down. I'm just being honest. I figured why not use eye patches? And to be totally honest with you, like I never make the time because this is the theme of today's video. We're gonna be making time for ourselves. You know, July 4th weekend is this upcoming week. I just need to rest, relax, and pour my energy into things that make me happy. I wanna move my body a bit. I'm still doing Sydney Cummings, Summertime Vine. It is tier three starting tomorrow. I literally just downloaded the calendar and I am pumped. Tomorrow is 30 minutes, which I love, especially on a Monday when I gotta go to work. It's a 30 minute strength and conditioning. I'm very excited about it. But yeah, I just thought we would take today's video to just think about all the things that make us happy like new facing, if you like to give yourself a facial massage, if you like to just sit down and have a cup of tea in silence, read a book, sit outside, like whatever it is that makes you happy, watch this video while you do it or like pause me and just like go do something that makes you feel good today. Because every day that I start with something positive that I enjoy, there's like a 90% chance that I'm gonna have a good day if I started off on the right foot. So yeah, I encourage you to do something, at least one thing that makes you happy today. So I figured while my eyes are getting nice and moisturized, I'm, I could be productive. I don't know. I feel like I'm in one of those like go, go, go moods today. I don't know what it is. My Banana Republic hauls, as you guys have seen, were a fail. I think I kept like a couple things. I'll actually show you in this video what I actually kept from Banana Republic. I feel like that would be a good recap, but I purchased some clothing from Goelia. Let me show you a bag. I purchased this brand because you guys know I love um, Victoria McGrath. She has a YouTube channel here on YouTube and she shares like all high-end fashion and she did an affordable haul. I think it was like a couple weeks ago. I will link her video up here as well as down below. Victoria was trying these pieces on and I was kind of just like, it's giving me like Jackie O, like Hamptons chic first lady vibes. And while I'm not looking forward to the 2024 election, like honestly, I can't listen to Trump speak. That's my opinion. This is my channel. I'm feeling like first lady vibes for myself. That's the only way that I can wrap my head around having somewhat of a, an outlook on this election. I am uninterested in both candidates, honestly, um, but there's no way in hell I would ever vote for Trump. I read about this brand. It did say that they're sustainable on their website. However, Everything is made in China, which I'm gonna to be totally honest with you. Had I had known that everything was made in China, I wouldn't have purchased these. I don't know. It's just personal preference. And I also like really don't like polyester. So I don't know. This is interesting because it's a skirt, but it's like a flap. It's so short. And I like this because I like to show off my legs, but I don't like this section of my legs. This skirt kind of combo controls just how much I show while also hiding what I don't like being this. We all have insecurities and this is the section of my body that I don't really love. I think this is a versatile outfit. Like I could wear it with little woven sandals. These are from M. Jenny. Actually, let me show you the heels that I bought several months ago. I still haven't worn them, but I bought them for the summertime. They would probably look really good with this outfit. They wrap all of their buttons in paper. And I should have mentioned this in my Banana Republic haul, but Banana wraps everything in plastic and it drives me crazy. Like we don't need that much. I think I like this outfit more open. It's like a bit more casual casual, but still chic. Look how nice the buttons are. I love the detailing. It's so pretty. They're just little 
kitten, like very small kitten flip flops. I feel like this is cute. And then I wore this on Friday and Mike was like, that is a very wintry bag. I'm trying to make it be spring, summer all year round. Well, I think he might be right. These are my most warm bags in the summer. Gianni Carini Hobos with my brown hair. I feel like it's giving more Hamptons. It's like Jackie O though. First lady, which I did say is kind of my vibe. Let's try something else on. Oh my God, guys, these pants are so comfortable. I would definitely need to get them hemmed. I do feel like they kind of like are big in here. I think the crotch is a little too long. I need a belt. And are they too big in here? Let me know what you think. I think I need to bring these back. Although these are very comfortable. So I would highly recommend these. You could definitely see through them though. I wish they had pockets in the front. They don't, but I, kind of like no i don't know they're very soft they're cute i just think they're a little too big on me yeah they're too big on me i think i like these shorts i wish they weren't like so wrinkled i like the color of this belt honestly this is like a belt color i am very much lacking in my wardrobe i need like a light brown or like a beigey color. That's very long. That belt is very long. These are cute though. I'm gonna grab another top. There's clothes everywhere in here. I need to clean today. And this room is top of my list. I just like to get my beauty room in order before the week. Like I have to for my mental sanity. Otherwise, I feel like I just come in here and I'm miserable in the morning because the clutter just sets me off. Is this like too much? Like I kind of want this to be my vibe. Again, I could wear the shoes. I could wear the bag. I like this. Is she going to polo? I'm not sure. This is a little tight, I think, this jacket. But I don't know because then things get way too big on me. And also, I'm the kind of person where I think things are tight that fit me correctly. Am I going to be, like, stretching a lot? No, I'm a lady in this outfit. I'm not. I'm going to stand straight back. I really like this. I feel restricted, but I also feel fitted, which I think is the story of my life. This gives me like Katie vibes. My girlfriend Katie would wear this. This is cute. And I like this button. A couple more tops. Let's, let's try them on. But this isn't looking good for my bank account because I wanted to return some of this. I'm definitely going to return the pants though. As much as I don't want to, they don't fit and I need to let it go. Please tell me if this is too small. Does this just like fit me perfectly? And I hate that it fits me so perfectly. I feel like every haul that I do, everything is always so big on top because I'm very narrow on the top. I'm a very petite person and I like being petite, but I also hate it. Nothing fits me correctly. I like this. However, when I took it out of the box and I looked at it, I was like, that looks very small. I might get a bigger size, but this is something, this is so cute. I could wear this on the weekend. I could wear this to work, like very versatile, very appropriate. I think I might have to get this in a small. I might get those pants in a smaller size as well. What do we think about this? I don't think that I love it. This stitch, I don't know why it's bothering me. I just don't really think that I like this and it's very warm for how I'm wearing it in my head. Although it might be good for the office because the office is so hot. No, so cold, what am I saying? Can you let me know your thoughts? These are the buttons though. I just, I really like the button details. Also, what are our thoughts on shorts in corporate America? Because my thoughts are no. Walking in Manhattan this past month, I've seen a lot of women shorts like this, like trouser E shorts. I'm from the generation where they would, well, I guess, yeah. This would be long enough in school, but they used to make us in school. They make us stand up and put our fingers, our hands on our sides. If it wasn't longer than our fingers, it was in a propes. I'm kind of liking it, even though I put it on and immediately was like, no, but it's kind of growing on me. Overall, this was a really good haul. So the music might be louder in here because if you are invested in my neighbors, because you know, we talk about my neighbors often here. My neighbor in the front of the house is cleaning his steps and he has a boombox that he is blasting his terrible music on. I just don't wonder, do we need headphones? I didn't keep a lot from Banana. Let's start off with what I have not worn yet. I love it so much. It's cute, like for the office, you know? A short sleeve blazer. I just haven't gone around to wearing this. Also, I have not worn this vest. I really like this vest and I would have worn it if I had ironed it. So I think I'm gonna read the directions and steam it. I think it'll be like a good throw on. I'm just lazy and I need to iron it because I have grabbed it 
a couple times this past week just because I was wearing like sleeveless dresses and sometimes I like to feel a little bit more, I don't know what's up with me. I like to feel a little bit more covered. I haven't worn these yet either. I feel like I'm gonna love them once I wear them, but again, they're linen and they're breathable. But I just feel like when it's 95 degrees and I gotta walk to and from the office, like I don't wanna walk in a pant. Like I love pants. I would prefer to wear pants more than I prefer to wear dresses, but like it's been so hot that I've just been wearing dresses. This I purchased last year from Rent the Runway. I rented it, I loved it. They had a sale and I got like 40% off from Marissa Webb. I get so many compliments on this. Nothing to do with banana, but like this has been my vibe. If you're interested in what I wear to the office, maybe I should do like an office wear video that could be fun because I'm really like stepping into feeling confident in the office and liking what I'm wearing again I feel like I had a really terrible mindset in recent months in recent years honestly where it's like I roll out of bed I don't give myself the time to get ready in the morning but also I get out of bed and I'm bitter because I just like don't want to go to my job I'm trying to just own every aspect of my life and I feel like that's been really good for my mental health. Like just waking up in the morning and while I'm not loving anything that I'm not loving to do, I'm just trying to do the best of it and bringing myself, my integrity, a good vibe into it. And it's been really good. I feel like my outlook has been better. I don't know if that makes sense. I know it all sounds really woo woo, but I've been really trying to shift my mindset this year. It's been happening slowly. I feel like some weeks are way easier than others. Trying to be grateful and just like bring the best version of me. Cause when I'm the best version of me, I feel the best. Again, I haven't worn these. I'm going to try and wear them this week. I think it's going to be a little bit cooler, but it is the 4th of July. So I don't know why. I just feel like this is a lot of effort and I wish that it was less effort, but these are a little bit more effort. Pieces that I have worn nonstop, two pieces specifically. And of course they're the pieces that look the most like pajamas. <laughs> these pants, I wear them all the time. They're so breathable, great for hot days, great for days when it's not too hot because you can layer it. Long sleeve shirt, when it's hot, you wear it with a tank top they're just so good they do kind of give pajama vibes like do I feel like my most put together self when I wear them no but I still feel put together highly recommend am I talking too loud to try and compensate for the music I don't know <laughs> Yes, I knock on the window and nobody listens to me. I am sometimes a Karen, but it's so annoying. But this linen blend top, very comfortable. I love a linen blend. It's a great, just kind of like white t-shirt, linen blend, long sleeve, and I've worn it once. This dress I've worn twice. I really like it. It's great for days where it's super, super hot. I just don't really like how it looks better with a belt. And this is the banana belt that I kept. So these two items, I wear them together, but I wear it with a belt so it's tighter around my waist so it's like less of a balloon but I find that when I'm walking to and from the office I wear a backpack and between the backpack pulling on the belt I feel like it like rides up and I just don't feel comfortable like walking constantly having to pull my dress down because it's like hiking up like that. Maybe I'll wear a thinner belt next time and see if that doesn't catch on as easily and I wore this t-shirt quite a few times. It's the same shirt as the white shirt just I don't know this has been my color palette lately. At the end of the weekend I really need to clean this closet up like whoa pile of donations leather pants that my aunt gave me that don't fit me a watch bag that i had i bought when mike and i went on vacation for the first time and we went to miami it was our first vacation he actually broke up with me after that vacation but here we are what is in here i want to donate these shoes just because i love them i just don't wear them too chunky for me mike bought me these shoes not comfortable they squish my toes so i'm thinking about selling these um they're super cute and i love them very trendy i just don't wear them and then these are a very old pair of prada shoes they are super sexy I actually had them fixed because i broke the prada on both of them it was like a hundred dollars to get that but these just hurt my feet if you're interested in any of these items i'm gonna take pictures i'm gonna put them on my poshmark feel free to expand the description box down below what do we think of the hair guys i just want to look like the chocolate brown heart emoji and i think the vision was executed wonderfully but i feel bad though because at the end of it you know she was blow drying my hair and she wasn't happy with the color at first because it was all very one tonal like i was just very brunette so she was like let's go back to the sink let me strip your hair a little bit of the color just because it's so flat so then this is what she came up with but again yesterday when i was in the chair it was a lot blonder but today it's a lot more 
red and a lot more like honey than it was yesterday. Yesterday it was a lot blonder. So I'm feeling really good about it today. I'm kind of like missing the free spirited younger woman that I used to be. COVID happened, my dad getting sick happened and I feel like I'm just a lot more tense just to be a lot more laid back. Kind of like yogi vibes, more yogi vibes than I've been in recent years. And I don't know why, but going brunette and kind of just changing up my whole look and my whole style has been really healing for me. I've been wanting to play with my earrings because I keep wearing the studs that Mike bought me for Christmas and I love them. But the problem with them is like, you can't really pair them with other earrings because it's such a statement earring. So today I put on my baby, I think they're baby gold hoops. I will try and find them, link them down below. I have the same one in the first hole. This is terrible lighting. Here, this is better. I these on Gil. I'll link them down below because I'm pretty sure that Gil sells them all the time. But that's the first one. And then the second one, this I got on Amazon. It's like a little evil eye in a dangly little huggy earring. It kind of looks like a guitar pick slash a heart with an evil eye in it. How pretty is that? I'll find them, hopefully. They still make them, link them down below or I'll find something similar. And then on this side, I put um, the hoop earring that my mom and dad bought me for Christmas a couple years ago. It's by Jacoji. I love Jacoji. He makes really beautiful gold pieces for both men and women. Every chain, gold chain that I bought for Mike is from Jacochi. I will link them down below. I really wanna put like diamond earring here. Maybe that's what I want for Christmas, like a diamond cartilage earring. don't understand how anyone romanticizes that at all. There's nothing romantic about making your bed. I'm just gonna throw it out there. My bed is romantic in general though, because I love her. She's just so large and in charge that <sighs> making her, I'm a little out of breath. What's in it? Beef and virgil. Mm. Beef and virgil. Prosciutto. Is this mine? Yeah, but I want to cheers. Oh, well, let's cheers it up then. Buttercup. Cheers. Cheers. I feel like I'm turning into a beer drinker. I had a lot of beer this weekend. I like a light beer, I think. For you? Yeah, for me. I usually have three beers in a year. Right. Never mind. Three in a weekend. Never mind. Three in a weekend. Can I put this in here? Are you going to yell at me? It can? I thought I wanted oh, that no, one. Oh, no, yeah, it can. That knife doesn't belong in there either. Where does the knife go? All right, I'll just wait until you're done. Chef Michael. Can you tell everyone your water trick? Because I found it very interesting. And it's hot enough. The water won't dissipate. It beads up. It beads up. That's wild. But it doesn't jump at you. Every time I cook, the oil jumps at me. And then I burn myself. I really need to tackle my beauty room because, Jesus, it's terrible in here. Oh my God. It is total crap out, so I do apologize that the lighting is terrible. I might see a gust of wind that might scare me. I might run downstairs. This might be a hot mess express. But every weekend, if you don't know, I unpack my pocketbook from the weekend fully. Every pocketbook that I put away, 
there is nothing in it because I cannot tell you how many times I've lost something and then found it in a handbag. So I figured I would show you what was in my handbag this weekend. And I feel like this is just fun because you can see the handbags that I am gravitating towards on a week to week basis. So this weekend, this was the only bag that I used. Some weekends I use more than one. I just threw all my shit in here. I no longer make this bag. I will link a similar bag down below. I bought this last spring. Love her so much. She's very spacious. She's just like a big hobo bag. I normally pack her really strategically. She has really nice pockets that are like on the inside, but out on the outside. So like easy, accessible if you want to throw in a receipt. Normally I throw my keys in here, my phone in here. I have my hair girl's business card because I told her I would text her to give her an update on my hair. I have my wet brush. I never leave the house without a comb to brush my hair. My fan, y'all know. I don't go anywhere without her. I have to throw her in my work bag. Basically, I take out all the things from my bag and then put them in my work bag. My super goop, SPF 35. I love this. Degrease the face while also adding sun protection because we need to reapply. I have my Avene thermal spray. I love this. It stays really cool and it's been so hot that sometimes you just want like a refresh. I'll spray and then I'll fan. And it helps to set my makeup while also setting my attitude because when I'm hot and sweaty, I'm very attitude-y. So I don't go anywhere without her either. Air hots. I've been listening to Working Hard or Hardly Working. That has been the podcast that I've been gravitating towards a lot lately and I'm really enjoying it. Retinol Anti-Aging SPF Hand Cream. Louis Vuitton, my little pocket organizer. This is my wallet. I was cleaning sunglasses. Are my sunglasses in here? Should I take them out? I love how it's Dolce & Gabbana light blue sunglasses, like the perfume. I forgot to put this back inside. I'm the kind of person where I like my bag to be organized until I'm living my life, and then in which case all organization goes to hell because I just throw things in the bag. House keys attached to mace because you never know, the world is crazy. Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. I have not worn this lipstick in a really long time, but I wore it this weekend. I have to be honest, I think it's a bit overhyped. I loved it when I got it, and I've tried so many more lip products since purchasing the Pillow Talk that it's just, it's not, it doesn't give me the hydration that I look for in a lipstick anymore. I just feel like my lip needs have changed. This I don't take out of my bag, but I will show you what I just leave in here. I leave a mirror, some facial wipes, a Tide pen because, oh God, Lord, that's why. Because I drop everything. This bag has so many pockets. It would be nice if I could find like a hundred dollar bill. That would be very exciting, but that is it. That is what is in my bag. Shocked. I'm gonna try it. Yola. I hope I like it too. You see that uh, bowl and basket Greek yogurt pack? Do we like bowl and basket Greek yogurt? It's 99 cents. Oh, I love it. Cheers. Cheers. Yum. Wow. Have you made that before? Yeah, once at Christmas. It's really good. Wow. That's why you're the chef of the home. It's actually really good. It's really good. Cheers to you. Chef Daddy. Cheers. Wow. I was counting on being able to eat all four of them. Are you serious? Not tonight, but I'm next couple days. Well, can I have this one? You would have the rest of them. You could have half and half. I just figured you were like, I don't eat stuffed anything. I don't eat stuffed anything. I don't like stuffed meat, no. But this is like very thin and tender. I don't like chewy chicken that's stuffed. Yuck, 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 yuck. No, no. Mm. I like that though. <laughs> mm, this wine's good too. Which wine is this? Aprilia. That's why it's good. It's not the wine we gave to Brian. <laughs> Did you hear they like call this out right away? They're like, what is this Australian wine? I mean, yeah. Don't say it. Don't it's say what? Be, it's supposed to be a very good wine that we gave them. Okay, I'm sure it's a great wine, but let's be honest. Let's be who we are for a minute. Because you like to say you're not a wino, but I think life proves otherwise. If there was a wine list in front of us right now, here's your wine list, sir. Yes, ma'am. A red from California, a red from Washington, D.C., a red from... Washington State. Yeah, Washington State. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? A red from... Italy. Italy. France. France. South Africa. Yeah, South Africa. And then you have Australia. Which one are you picking last? Australia. Right. So, there you go. We're sorry, Brian and Monica. We'll let you try one of our Napa wines. No, so. we won't. <laughs> no, we won't. 
Just the four of us, not like everyone. Your family has a bad track record. No, but you mean like not put it out for like public consumption, but you would share too with Amanda, you would share with Kelly. I wouldn't share with Kelly. I'm not sharing with Kelly. Why Can not? I shut the TV off? No, I'm not, I'm not sharing with Kelly. Would you share with Kelly? Yeah. Kelly doesn't like wine and Paul doesn't like wine either. Brian and Monica like wine, Monica likes white wine. Does she? If it's a California red, she'll just like love every sip of it. Wow, you know what I like? Your Brajol. It's actually really good. Very good. This is why I hate cooking, because it never tastes like this. Coming over here. Wow, what a delight to have you. What are we doing? What a chef. What are we recording? I didn't even know we were recording. We're gonna give a soliloquy to the camera? A soliloquy? No, I was gonna say how it's like actually insane that it was just winter and now the sun's out again. It felt like winter, like it was like 5.30, we were eating dinner and it was dark. You were having like a heavy Italian meal. Yeah, mm. felt very wintry. Winter. Winter. Um, but now the sun's back out, so that's kind of wild. I love it. Are you coming to chat with us? No. Why not? I'm not much of a chatter. I'm sad about your face, babe. Yeah, I know. I'm abused. Sad? Yeah, sad. What are we gonna watch tonight? We have no good shows anymore. All right, Jen J. I'm down. I'm giving myself a petty in the bathroom. Sitting on the toilet. This is the reality of life. I'm not romanticizing anything. I just wanna paint my nails. And I bought these OPR nail polishes a really long time ago and I haven't tried them yet. But like now is probably not the most opportune time to paint them because it's like 7.50. Oh, it looks so much better. I had some kind of storage tub and I feel bad because I asked Mike to put it in the attic and when he was putting it in the attic, he like dropped it on himself and he scraped the whole side of his face and now I feel terrible. And now he's watching signs. So I'm up here tidying further because I don't like scary movies, but I put my jammas on. I gotta say, it's just like something so nostalgic about summer is this hour when it's 8.50 at night and it's still like a little light out. I remember just like growing up and that feeling of like going to bed when it was still light out and how comforting it was for me because I used to be so afraid of the dark. A lot of the time I'll just sit in my closet and just look at the sky and how it's still light. I don't know, just something about like summer nights made me think of my dad and just like growing up and being home i just want to say i love you guys so much thank you so much for joining me if you made it to the end leave me a brown heart emoji this way i know you watched until now if there's anything you'd like to see from me please be sure to let me know i'm trying to upload more i think my upload days are now going to be mondays and thursdays at 1 p.m eastern time and i'm going to upload shorts on the other days so i'll be here five days a week and i really hope to see you in my next one bye guys Mwah.